Hello there everyone. Welcome to Cyberbytes channel. Today we will be having a demonstration for the tool Subfinder. We will be performing a passive subdomain enumeration using this tool and explore various available options Subfinders offers us and how you can leverage this tool for your upcoming bug bounty program or your pen test. Now, uh, actually, uh, this tool is uh, basically for uh, uh, discovering uh, subdomains or uh, different endpoints uh, that, that are under the scope of your bug bounty pro program or your pen test. So uh, please mind that uh, whatever uh, the tasks that you are doing, they, you should be very considerate about that and also you should be knowing uh, what what is the scope of uh, scope of your uh, the program that you are into? So I have selected uh, uh, integrity uh, integrities bug uh, bug bounty uh, program and we will be having a look upon this uh, public program that is uh, vulnerability disclosure program by Red Bull and we will be looking for redbull.com and its subdomain. So this uh, tool is quite interesting and in how actually we can use this tool and we will be exploring various available options. We will be having a look for that also. But before that, we will be having a, a brief introduction about this tool, about the uh, good points of, of this tool. And this tool come, uh, actually comes from the guys from Project Discovery and it is one of their tools that they are offering. I am planning to add more tools uh, from, from this uh, repository for demonstration and it will be helpful to you for your pen tests and, and uh, bug bounty programs. So first, first things first, a disclaimer about that. Whatever the contents that I'm be showing to you is only meant for educational purposes and you should be only using for uh, uh, ethical purposes only. So uh, no, uh, you can say no funny stuff, no bad stuff, nothing like that. Uh, use this tool responsibly. Now, I strongly discourage any unethical use of this tool against any target and the demonstrations that I am showing you as I showed you this is based on uh, sh showing directly on a open public uh, program so it won't be much of an issue and this tool uh, additionally this tool works on the principle of uh, passive subdomain enumeration so we won't be touching directly to the red bull and that is why this this is basically uh, very much safe and the good thing about this tool is that this tool automatically uh, honor the api rate limitings and uh, whatever the uh, uh, public sources are giving you so it will be honoring that so that will be a good thing all right so let us uh, have a look at the features about the uh, features of this tool or you can say important features of this tool so basically sub uh, sub finder is fast is fast in resolution and it will eliminate wildcard subdomains so if you are coming across any subdomain innovation and you might have seen if you have a wildcard subdomain then it will start giving a ton of results that will be false positive so that won't be productive so this tool will eliminate this thing so that is a good thing about that it is having a very very big range of passive uh, sources for comprehensive subdomain animation so that is the we can say the good thing about this tool next it is resource friendly so it won't be hogging on your cpu resources so that is actually that is one more uh, good thing name and also it supports multiple uh, output formats so if you want to print directly to your screen or if you want to pipe it to your other, other tools that is also possible if you want you can actually uh, output into text format and uh, even you can pipe it later on as per your uh, workflow that you have been designing or actually it will also give you output in JSON format which is also quite nice so that is one more good thing so for installation purposes uh, so it is quite quite, least, uh, quite straightforward if you want to install this tool you can just use go uh, go language and just uh, just put this command and you are ready to go so uh, this is the most preferred uh, you can say a convenient, this is most convenient I, I must say uh, way in which actually we can install this tool so we let me just so I'll be if you if go is not installed on your machine then I suggest you follow uh, there, there I have uh, dropped a few links in the description section that actually you can follow along to along to install and set up go on your uh, Kali Linux machine so you can follow that next so uh, after installing, so this is quite straightforward. You can just uh, copy this command like this, and you can just put it into your terminal. Yep. Now let us uh, copy this command, and actually we can uh, install uh, Subfinder on our Kali machine. So after we can uh, install this uh, install this tool, 
uh, a go folder will be created and under that go folder there will be uh, your bin folder and under that bin folder our subfinder will be there so already i have uh, ran this command and it is uh, the subfinder has been installed on my machine so what i will do i will just show you the path cd go and i will be going to the bin and here is our tool subfinder so along with subfinder I, uh, I have other tools also so uh, let us focus our attention on the subfinder so we'll be finding opening the help file and there are lots of options to try on so i'll be showing you the most uh, useful options that you can try on and you, you can get get on with your uh, tests and i'll be showing you the demonstration one after the other so uh, let us uh, have a look on the browser window and actually we will be understanding or you can seeing the we will be seeing the options so what are the options that uh, it has to offer offer us so uh, there are see now subfinder basically it has uh, different sources so uh, if you use the all switch so it will be using all the sources for enumeration and it will take a somewhat uh, a greater amount of time now if you want to uh, specify a config file i'll be showing you briefly the config file and the minus d option that is used for a domain that has be, has to be uh, inquired against if you have a list of domains you can use the minus dl option i will be showing you briefly if you want to exclude some sources you can do that also that is also possible how much maximum time to wait to get your enumeration result so it is up to maximum time is 10 minutes and if you want don't want to use colors then there is um, um, this option if you want to remove this the important part here the remove a wildcard and dead subdomains from your output you can use this option i'll be using this also if you want to list all the available sources if you want to write the output to a file if you want to write uh, to, to a directory if you have a directory created a dedicated directory for your uh, subdomain enumeration or you can say for your project you can uh, write to that path also if you want to write the output in host and ip formats now this is important part because if i want to take this host and ip format then i will i can use this in my workflow to feed this result to divide and scan a tool that is actually doing my port scanning and all this stuff so if you are interested in getting the uh, how to about the demonstration on how actually we can use this thing in conjunction with divide and scan tool that is also a link i will be sharing you along with this video you can watch that also and how you can use this to further enumerate and get more better results if you want to write output in json format that is also possible if you want to specify resolvers you can use minus r option if you want to do a recursive subdomain enumeration that is also possible using the recursive switch and uh, if you want you can actually have some sources also so what sources do you want to specify say for example there are 10 sources now if you want to have only two or three sources from which you want to pull your results that is also possible and what are the concurrent go routines or you can say threads that you want to go so you can specify that also so yeah so here these are the sources that actually you can have there are lots of sources so i uh, you can say i recommend you to have uh, some of the uh, use on free api keys that they are providing and if you are pro going into it professionally then actually you can buy their uh, api keys and the pre premium membership or whatever they are offering you you can uh, you can have them now uh, the important part here is there is in your home folder there is a config.yaml file let me show you that file and we'll be seeing how actually the config file will be looking like so it is uh, uh, just like this only so if you want to make changes changes in the config file and if you want to add some api keys so this is the format in which you can add the api keys so i'll be showing you briefly now let me just show you how actually we can uh, view the config so let us first look at the config in the in my home folder so let me just home kali config subfinder okay so here is my config file so here is the config file that i am talking about so in the default config file that subfinder installs it by default it is having this much uh, resolvers so it is having google cloudflare and various other uh, resolvers that it is having it is having default sources that it is using for recursive uh, recursive you can say enumeration it is having this also this two you can see these modules are also there and yeah if you are using all sources then there are more that that are all possible now here uh, if you are using uh, api keys if you have your api keys i have a few of api keys free api keys that i have registered i will be showing you in a while 
that we will be adding here and getting results okay now let me just go to here and i have already have a config.yml file so so i'll be showing you the config file here it is just same it's just a copy so these are the api keys that uh, i am having for uh, risk iq for security trails and for virus total so i'll be obfuscating these uh, because i don't want to expose them so these are uh, for my personal use only so uh, these are the api keys that i can use so we can use both you can use the default config file also and if you want you can use your uh, uh, configurations uh, that you have been you have set up with your api keys also so both are good so uh, let us start with the most common example that we can use is subfinder and then we can go for okay so we will not be using the all option here so it will take a bit of time it's okay so uh, by the time it is get, okay fine it found some 1984 subdomains for red bull in quite fast two seconds only so that, that's a good thing so we have our results we can pipe it pipe these results out if you want you can do that also say for example now let us uh, assume the fact that we are using to have say for example i will tell you uh, if you want to go for all so if you want to go for all sources then also it is possible but it will take a bit of time so uh, the previous scan took about two seconds so this might take a bit more let us wait for that i might pause the video if uh, for the meantime so that will be better well we are back and after one minute and eight seconds it fetched us about 2044 subdomains for redbull.com so that's good using all sources we are getting these much, these many subdomains now uh, if we are using our own api keys then that is the possibility that you you can get more results also so we'll be trying that also so uh, we will be going step by step with that so let me just uh, hop on and see other options that we can use is say for example we need to have uh, say for example minus dl option if we want to go for that so we will uh, will going for other options also uh, so let me show you here uh, so let's make a file called doms and what we'll do is say for example redbull.com sorry and we can go for uber.com we can also go from tesla.com we will just save this file and we can use this option using tl doms.txt you can use this option also if you want we can run this option so one after the other it will start enumerating for our domains that we need to target but for the meantime it might take time so if you want you can try this option also this is also possible uh, let me just yeah so in this way you can use this minus dl option so this is for demo de demonstration purpose only so i won't be running this command it will take a bit of time but you can try if you have multiple domains under your uh, scope you can use this option also and it can it will be running nicely all right so let us have a look at option where we will be using uh, a configuration file that the config.yaml is there this is the configuration file that i'm talking about with my risk iq security trails virus total uh, api keys that i have already registered i'll be blurring them off okay so i will be using these uh, api keys uh, along with other sources to get my results so i'll be using this uh, scan like so so finder and i will be output will be this in this format output in ip and host format we will be neglecting the wildcard and dead domains also we will be specifying the config file that we will be using that is config.yml config.yml that we saw earlier and i'll be running this scan so let us run this scan and wait for some time uh, how much results that we are getting we'll be seeing in a while so i'll be pausing the video by then so it took three minutes and 41 seconds to discover 1089 subdomains for redbull.com so uh, this is the format in which uh, our uh, result will come that is uh, the c name or you can say the subdomain name separated by comma this is the ip address and it got from threat crowd 
so in this way actually this is the format so this becomes uh, why i am uh, stressing on this format because uh, this format is useful and i have used this used this format many times because i can actually pipe it out to some other source and i can create a list of this say for example if i specifically want ip addresses then i can pull out ip addresses from this list if i want only c names i can do that also so in this way actually we can do so let me just show you an example for that say for example let me see what is that okay redbullresults.txt Okay, Red Bull results txt and then I will be uh, piping it to, uh, say for example, cut. I will be using the delimiter. Uh, say for example, comma here. There is a delimiter. Sorry, not this one. Yeah, this one. And I will be using this field. Say for example, first field for such for example sake. We get yeah. We only got C name. If we, if I change the field to two, I got the IP addresses. If I change this field name to three, I get the sources. So this is the most, you can say, useful uh, option for me. I can just echo it to, you can say, just uh, remove, uh, get get this to another, uh, say, for example, Red Bull, Red Bull CNAME IPs dot txt, txt, and let us see, let us see, minus L, Red Bull CNAME, so that is 1089. I can even spot it if I want, so regular uh, terminal bash commands, so you can use that also. This one example that I found useful because I can pipe this to, uh, to another tools for uh, further scanning them and probing them for interesting services that I might find. So one tool that I found very, very useful that is divide and scan. You can uh, refer to the link that I'm giving you here at the prompt. You can use the, this uh, to, uh, this tutorial to just use this uh, CNAME IPs, directly feed it to the uh, uh, divide and scan tool and get your subsequent results and you can find more interesting services. So this is one way actually in which you can use this tool to your advantage in your bug bounty and pen test engagements. So this was in my mind uh, regarding uh, this uh, tool uh, subdomain enumeration for a sub finder. Uh, so uh, if you like my work then please do subscribe do like this video kindly share this video it will help the channel to grow and if you have a specific uh, request of uh, creating tutorial for a tool that you find it interesting and you want to share it with the, with everyone so kindly uh, post post down in the your comments in the comment section and please do give me feedback so this will help us to uh, fine tune our content and give it to you as you want so we are actually trying to make this uh, make this channel and the contents of this channel more towards the community centric rather than we deciding what you should see we want you as community members or if you want to learn something please do go, go ahead and uh, put down your thoughts in that let us make this interactive and make this channel so this was it so i hope you like this video and uh, goodbye for now Goodbye everyone.